the lake today to test out a few different pedal drives. We're driving cars on the Mars tonight. We're passing off to the stars tonight. We want to go, go. The Three Waters Big Fish 103 has the Pro Fish pedal drive. It's chain driven with the prop. Uh, use the beaver tail rudder with the eight ball steering to control it. So the Big Fish 103 is 10 foot 6 inches long, 35 inches wide. It's a bit wider than your average kayak. Uh, it's got a cathedral bottom, so it's, so it's supposed to be very stable. But we'll get out there and see how it goes. Ready? Yep, so this is the Feel Free Lure. 13.5. The Feel Free Lure 13.5 is 13 and a half feet long. It's got the gear driven overdrive. Uh, the overdrive is um, also got a prop. It also comes with a beaver tail rudder and the eight ball for steering it. So what's with this Hobie Mirage Drive? Now the Hobie Pro Angler comes equipped with the Mirage Drive. And you can see it's kind of like fins. A little different than those other drives. Will see it even work? And we'll see. We want to go, go. So the objective today is to test out each different type of drive. So the drive has a little bit to do with obviously the whole design and things along those lines, but we're really going to pay attention to what we think about the different drives and how they feel and our, I guess our, our opinions on each particular particular one. It was unique because we got our hands on this Hobie and I thought, man, why are these things so special? So I guess today I get to figure that out because I've never actually used the Hobie Mirage drive at all. I have used this drive. I have not used also the Rapid drive, which is on the Big Fish 103 here. So I have not tried that one either. So you're going to get pretty much a raw, fresh review from somebody who will tell you how it is. All right, we're away. Now in this case, I'm just gonna head on backwards reverse this baby out and go give it a spin. The biggest thing is going to be is one, how smooth is the drive? And two, how fast can it go? All right? Speed counts. By the way, you like my jacket, don't you? It's because I got it out of swap me. Check it out. The old Stearns jacket. It's a float coat. Yeah, it's a coat. So I'm on the Feel Free Lure 13.5 right now um, with the overdrive pedal drive. Just at cruising, trolling speeds, no problem. I feel like I could do this all day. It seems a little bit high though, but I don't have anything to compare it to, but I, I would assume that the Hobie, because of the position of your feet, not going over each time, they don't have to go up as high. Cause it kind of feels a little awkward sometimes, just side view, when your feet go up so high. This is gonna be everything that I got. We got four. I think five's, five's barely reachable if you're more athletic than I am. I'm gonna try out the Feel Free Lure 13 five. Oh wow. It splashes more in here. This one doesn't pop like the other one. This drive just goes. I mean, we're going fast. Yeah, in my opinion, this pedal drive is much better than the other one on the big fish. Seems to be a lot smoother. I'm paddling as hard as I can. Ooh. 
making quite the lake. Much better. Big Fish 103. The rapid drive, this is the chain drive. Bet we look cool on the drone. I'm on the Big Fish 103 with the ProFish chain driven drive. There's one thing that I do, do not like about it so far and it's that, the eight ball shifter. You see, for me to turn right, that sucker ends up underneath my knee while I pedal. So, starts, starts hitting me in the back, starts hitting me in the back of my calf and jamming into the back of my knee when I pedal. So, it makes it difficult to turn right while pedaling. Okay, so I'm out on the Big Fish 103 now. Um, so it's about pedaling length. It, it's kind of weird when you're pushing. It doesn't feel like it's going in a full, like, I mean, it's a full circle, but when you get to this point, it feels like it, it pauses for a second. So where I'm going, you can see it kind of pause for a second. Cruising speed on this is nice. I kept jumping the chain. Um, so, f so for the drive, yeah. good for this this type of cruising speed. All right, you ready to do this? Yep. We're going to race. Go! Ah, right, here we're off. My body down here is doing a lot of work. Up here, we're just kind of hanging out. Oh. Whoa, 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 he's pulling ahead. I gotta push, pump, pump, pump. First one to the buoy up here. Ah, shoot. Every once in a while you can hear that little popping noise. That'd be the chain popping a sprocket because there's a tensioner on here that has to be tensioned, which is not. Oh my gosh, he's, he's ahead. He's got a half a boat length on me. Oh. Brandon's cooking. Oh man, he's gonna get me. I don't think I can pull that. I'm falling behind even. He's got the endurance too. Okay. A good run, man. I was playing. We're aboard the uh, Hobie Angler 14 with the Mirage Drive. First time ever running one of these. And I'll tell you what, actually it is nice. I found Brandon now and it's time that we go at it again. We'll see about it now that I got this Hobie with the Mirage Drive. So that's one of the challenges this drive is no reverse. <laughs> ah, backwards. He just spins his feet backwards. Five, four, 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 nine. Woo, five, six. Hey, that thing's quick. That's fast. But I'm gliding through. Very minimal effort from this. 5.5 miles an hour. Woo, that's tiny. Oh, almost at six. That's rude. Then not having reverse is probably because I'm going to hit the dock. Okay, Brandon and I at the starting line. Go ahead, I'll give you a little start. Oh, actually, I just took one by pedaling. You got to watch where you're going, mister. He's trying to ram me. He's just rammed me. Did you see that? So long, sucker. That thing's so fast. <laughs> this thing's so quick. Oh, dude, I'm doing 5.0. So my first time pedaling a Hobie Mirage Drive. So far, so good. 
Uh, the boat moves a lot faster. It takes very little effort to move. We're easily doing trolling speeds here. Control from Coho and in the lake, no problem. Definitely takes a little getting used to that pedal motion. I keep wanting to go, you know, circular motion like on a bike. But this is more just a push and pull type of motion. You can do this all day. The big takeaway we get here today is that you get what you pay for. You got the Hobie, the lure in the middle, and then the big fish uh, at the beginning. So each one has fully functional fishing capabilities. That's what the, you need a pedal drive for or an electric motor because when you're casting, pedaling, paddling is not really an option because then you have to paddle, stop, cast, doesn't work unless you're trolling maybe. But it's a lot easier to use a pedal drive with your feet to keep yourself going. The Hobie seemed a little bit more uh, efficient at the cruising speed, sitting around two miles an hour if you're gonna troll around. It was very simple to do, didn't use a, didn't use a lot of energy to, to move, but they all can do it. It's all capable. You got a lot of stability in a short little boat here. You've got a long, skinnier boat torpedo. It's a little bit faster. And then the Hobies just got crazy with the hydrodynamics. You know, they're all a bunch of geniuses up there and test everything and do all that, but you have to pay for it. Very fast. I guess the big question is, how fishable are these drives? Well, I think they're all very fishable. Um, the Hobie just seemed to be a lot easier in the sense of um, taking very little energy to move. Uh, you can cruise at a trolling speed very easily. And I could do the same on the lure as well, but it definitely took a little more effort. I felt a little more burn here in my quads and my legs. Um, and then the, the three waters, big fish, about the same as the, the feel freaks. With the amount of space you have on the boat, uh, pedaling that with that back and forth motion once you get in a rhythm is easier than the rest by far. Uh, so being able to cast and uh, small movements was the big thing. You're not moving your body that much with those small kick movements. So definitely the Hobie was my number one on that. Um, Price-wise, I can't afford it, so.